The Grand Canyon reveals the inside story of the ground that lies beneath our feet. Here, lying open a mile deep, is the vault of Earth's history. A chasm whose walls of layered rock tell the tales of two billion years in the life of the planet. These layers at the rim, which turned to rock just before the age of dinosaurs, are the canyon's youngest formations. There are 21 distinct layers of rock here, each one representing a package of about 30 million years of time gone by. As we cast our gaze down the canyon walls, we're looking at older and older rocks. In the deepest part of the canyon, the rocks are 1.7 billion years old, a third as old as the Earth itself. Each rock, by the type of particles it contains, tells the story of its own origin. Sand becomes sandstone, mud becomes shale. The skeletons of sea animals become limestone. 300 million years ago, a vast shallow sea like this one covered not only the Grand Canyon region, but much of what is Western North America today. We're now in the Redwall Limestone. The Redwall Limestone is a marine deposit formed in a shallow sea millions of years ago, and we know that because right here is one of those marine shells. I'm going to pour some water on it so that it shows better. This is the outline of a nautiloid shell. It had a long stovepipe sort of cylindrical shell with curved partitions across it, and it's related to the modern chambered nautilus, which currently lives in the Indian Ocean except these had straight shells and the chambered nautilus has coiled shells. It's hard to imagine all of the things that have gone on in this place, but the Grand Canyon record tells us of mountain ranges, uh, seas that have advanced and retreated at least 18 times across Arizona, a variety of the coastal swamp conditions, desert dunes, and all of these marvelous things have happened in this place over a period of two billion years and they're recorded in the Grand Canyon record. <laughs> 